Well, my real name is Jason Anthony Soldano and not Jay Diesel Soldano, but that's what I'm known by now. That's, you know, the stage name. Uh, grew up in Long Island, New York. Uh, my dad was a drummer. He was pretty much my inspiration growing up. My other two uncles played as well. Listening uh, growing up through the 70s and 80s, so a lot of the hair bands and old time rock and roll, Led Zeppelin, Cream. That's kind of the music that I was brought up that my dad was playing at the time. So I was actually playing guitar, I think at first, my dad said, and then a few years later, I was about seven or eight, is when I grabbed the drumsticks and started banging on stuff through the house. So I'm sure mom was happy about that, to have another drummer in the house, <laughs> along with my dad. So uh, didn't really play a lot of the set, I don't think, till I got older. But going through school, elementary school, and going to band class, and just learning how to read music and playing, and that's probably when I started playing on the set through elementary school at the time, because I couldn't touch my dad's kit. My dad actually made a gorgeous fiberglass kit. He made his own drums, and back in the day, that was like, you know, the bomb. So then uh, through high school, or junior high, same thing, junior high and high school, playing with friends and things like that, and uh, just jamming here and there. Then uh, when I graduated school, I was actually playing ball at the time, playing baseball and basketball. And I got in an accident and almost lost my hand in a, in a saw accident at the time so for me life pretty much ended for me or at, at that point but I told the doctor that um you know as long as I can grab a pair of sticks and grab a baseball bat or anything like that I was I was good to go so he's like yeah don't worry about it we can we can do miracles nowadays so they fixed my hand and a couple of years later after three years of therapy and some operations I got my hand back and that's when I started playing drums again for uh, my birthday I got a new kit and that's pretty much when the direction where I started drumming again and uh, one thing pretty much led to another just playing you know sitting in a room playing to your favorite CDs and getting my chops back and things like that and then uh, playing with some other guys locally and one thing led to another and then I met the guys from Crossbreed and that's pretty much when my life as a musician took off at that point. So I do for the band, you know, and I do me after everybody else is taken care of. We had a tour that we went on. I actually funded and sold a lot of our merchandise to fuel our first tour that we went on for a couple of weeks. So then again, it was all about, you know, trying to support the band and so we can do what we wanted to do. So my work ethic is is hard. I've, I've reached a, you know, pretty high peak in the last couple of years and turn the corner and really raise the level of my playing and you know things like that. So it takes a lot of practice it, with everything. It's the same thing as uh, me growing up being a ball player. To be good at anything, you got to practice. So it's practice, practice, practice. And at that point, you know, you reach a certain level and people start believing in, in you and trusting you and start taking chances. And that's what it's all about. 
you know, you, you get to take a chance on somebody and what you do with it is up to you. Nothing's ever handed to you, you gotta go get it. And that's what I've done with everything you see here, you know. You know? So you just go, uh, you give it your best, you, you, you give it your heart, your sweat, your blood, your soul, and then, you know, you leave it from there and everything happens from there. I guess we'll start with uh, being a bandmate, being a band member. I'm always uh, thinking about the guys first in my band. I'm not a me, me guy, so to, so to say. So um, I really do for other people first around me before I start doing for myself. And then when it comes to me, you know, I take the initiative and in, in doing what I need to do. Um, everything that I've ever gotten in life, I've pretty much gone and gotten for myself. Nothing's ever handed to you. So. My worth ethic, number one, um, practicing, my drive, my motivation, that's what fuels me to do what I'm doing. And uh, it's all about taking chances, you know. You gotta have people believe in you and you gotta have something to sell because if you don't have something to sell, nobody's buying it. So I've worked really hard to be where I'm, I'm at and uh, have a lot of great companies behind me, like what you see right here. And uh, I've been really blessed and you know, thank you for everything that I've ever gotten over the last few years and, and uh, gotten where I'm at today. The kit behind me. The kit behind me is Brush Drums and Percussion. A uh, great company, by the way. This kit was actually given to me uh, by the guys from Crust, Terry Platt and Rick Hughes, who were the boys. They gave me that kit for our big crossbreed show. I love it. It's a birch kit. Uh, they also have uh, Chameleon Ash. They have uh, Maple and Babinga. Obviously, the shells are a big deal. But this kit for the style that I play and the music that we play is just great and it sounds phenomenal. I was with them before with another company but they left to start this new company here and I was one of the guys that they wanted to bring along with them so I said 
there's no question that I was leaving and following them wherever they were going because they gave me my first plate. The symbols are feisty, alpha series, incredible, pretty much uh, ear piercing, again for the style of music that we play and the way that I play, I'm a heavy hitter, power guy. Uh, they cut, they're sharp, they're loud, pretty much everything you like. Uh, the heads, I'm endorsed by Evans Heads. Obviously, one of the best companies in the world, been around for a long time. I was able to get that endorsement a couple of years ago. Uh, my stick company is Excel Drumsticks, and they're phenomenal as well. First company I've ever had, and they gave me my own signature series, Diesel, number three. My own signature sticks, and I love them, they're, they're awesome. My in-ear monitor is another great company uh, right here in Florida. Sleek Audio, they're right over the bridge in Palmetto. Great bunch of guys, I met them at a Seven Dust show here in Florida. They were actually one of the companies that were in one of the booths. And I was with Morgan and started talking to the guys and you know, they asked who I was and told them who I was and played with Crossbreed and they knew who I were, or who I was actually. And uh, started talking to them about everything that I needed and I was like, an ear endorsement is the last thing I really need, you know? And they're not easy to get. And they stepped up to the plate and said, we'll take care of you, man. Free endorsement. We just want to have you. And that was that. I got custom ears done. Well, I'm, I'm pretty entertaining. I can be a goof at times, for sure. Um, but I'm a lot of, I'm, I'm an outspoken person, full of energy. So growing up where I grew up, being Italian, New Yorker, is pretty much all there is to say. A lot of people don't like us because we say it how it is, whether you like it or not. And then he came down to be with these freaks right here. Take a look at these three freaks right here. Look at these faces, the three stooges, boom, boom, boom. But that was the first experience for me going on tour, being in a van with, you know, 12, 13 different people traveling one, two, 3,000 miles across the country every day. It can be crazy at times as a first experience for anybody. But we got through it. A lot of fun, a lot of hard work, a lot of, uh, you know, neck grabbing at times you want to choke people, you know. But I'm the biggest guy in the band, so nobody's going to mess with me. So it was a good time for sure. That's how we do we it. Crossbreed show yeah, right there, baby. Woo! I need a water too. Morgan Rose and Seven Dust. Um, met those guys probably about 10 years or so here in uh, Florida at Janus Landing in St. Pete. I had a show and obviously Morgan is one of my idols and inspirations growing up and, and drumming. So I've uh, been to a couple of shows before then to, to, to see the guys play and um, got to be front row at this show. So uh, I made a shirt and took a magic marker to it and I wrote Seven Dust on it and put on there, I can play drums better than Morgan, number one fan. So their photographer, um, Mitchell Davis, saw me and you know he's been friends with Morgan ever since he was a kid. and through his whole career and stuff and the photographer for the band and stuff. And he saw me, he's like, man, he goes, I got to take a picture of you and show Morgan. No one's ever had the balls to do something like that, you know? So I felt pretty proud of myself, you know, like no one's ever tried this act before, you know? So he took a picture of me and, and showed it to Morgan and coming on stage, he kind of saw me, gave me one of these deals, you know? And that was really cool, you know, just to make eye contact with the guy, you know, who's, who's such an inspiration on your life, you know? So uh, during the show, he's, I'm there drumming all the songs and, and everything, and he starts throwing me his sticks, and I'm shoving them in my pocket, and crowds, and everybody's looking, why is he only throwing his sticks to you? You know, I'm like, yo, check this out right here, you know? So after the show's done, he comes down to meet me and stuff, and I'm like drooling all over myself, you know, I can't believe he actually came down to meet me and, and stuff. So he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm just hanging out. He's like, well, you're hanging out with me tonight. So he goes, you know, go upstairs and tell the guy up there that, you know, I sent you up there and that. So I go up there and the guy lets me in and, you know, met Morgan and LJ and Vinny and Clint and uh, John and uh, just spent the whole night with him, like four or five hours, you know, and like after the first hour of us just kind of, you know, feeding off each other and meeting everybody and his family and his dad and his brother and stuff. And I'm like, well, I know there's a lot of other people here to see you, you know, so, you know, I'm going to take off. He's like, no, man. He's like, I told you we're hanging out. So we hung out all night, man, just swapping stories and baseball and drums and just learning everything I could learn from the guy and 
you know, we swapped numbers. And then a couple months later, I got my parents over for dinner and I get a phone call and I didn't recognize the number and it's Morgan Rose. I'm like, what's Morgan Rose calling me on a Sunday for, you know, I'm getting ready to watch football. And he was in town at his dad's house and which is in Lutz right across in Tampa. And he's like, come on down, man. We'll barbecue out, come hang out, watch some football. And I was like, this is unbelievable. You know, so we just kind of built the friendship from there. What did you expect? Fools often sometimes forget. Who really knows what's the truth? Often dignified. How funny changing the tide. It feels like you already knew. That's the downfall. I want to learn as much as I can about the business because, you know, let's be honest. I mean, I know the Rolling Stones and Aerosmith are like 60 and 70 years old and still playing, but there's more than that than just playing. You know, there's a lot more you can, you can get your fingers in. And, you know, I've met so many other musicians, you know, you know, bands that I've grown up listening to like Korn, you know, Ray Luzier is one of the best drummers in the world. And me and you actually, it's how me and you met. And, uh, you know, it's just a blessing to meet so many talented people and, be fully endorsed and tour and go across the country and go to NAM and represent your companies and things like that. I did that a couple of years ago for the first time and it's just an awesome experience, man. I don't I don't care for me the way that my mindset is is when I had the opportunity to do this that I didn't care if I had a penny in the bank as long as my bills were paid and I'm still able to do this and travel and have that experience, I was good, you know. I mean, a lot of people see the money and they see the finished product, so to speak, you know. They see the videos and the lights and the money and, you know, the women and all that other stuff. But there's a lot more to it than that. So, you know, my mindset was, you know, I'm interested in one thing and that's playing music. And as long as people enjoy it and I'm able to give back to them as much as, you know, those other guys have given back to me, then that's what it's all about.
Smash my boat, you goon. It's a fucking Catalina wine mixer. You know we're not gonna stop this though. <laughs> You're all fucking high. <laughs>